compromise. These men also in action. Peter Snape by right, world championship runner up in 2014. Ian Diamond White having to shine brightly on the Blackpool stage. And the former rugby player Geroen Price, who muscled his way past a two time world champion, Adrian Lewis. Is this the order of play this evening? Peter Snape by right, the fifth seed against Geroen Price, who put out Adrian Lewis 13 10. And then the world number one, mighty Michael Van Gerwen against Stokes, Ian White, the number nine seed. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Blackpool. The big question is tonight, can Price get it right on the big stage yet again? And can Michael Van Gerwen stay on course for his first match play title and walk away with a £100,000 first prize? Eric Bristow and Wayne Mardles frothing at the prospect of what's in store tonight. Um, all four players in action are in scintillating form. By this, this time of the tournament, you, you should be up and running. You should be in full flow. Possibly the only one that's not is Phil Taylor, but Gerwin Price and Peter Wright certainly are. And gerwin has got to fence his chances because the, the last match against Adrian Lewis was undoubtedly his biggest ever, ever moment in darts and he wants to replicate that and he think he can and to be honest, I, I think he can as well. <laughs> it's the chance of a lifetime for some of these players. He's practised for years and years and years. He's got his just deserves here. He's, he, he beat a top seed last and he played lovely. But he, did, he wasn't lucky. He was, he, after 15 legs, I think he was averaging 107. He, he's got the game. He, he's been doing it on the floor for the last couple of years. It's just getting that belief and doing it on the stage against the top player on TV. If he plays like he did last round, he's got a great chance tonight. Last night, the world champion crashed out. Things are about to get serious for these two with a place in the last eight at stake. He has got a swagger, hasn't he? He has. Yeah, the Keegan Brown strut. Oh, I can't miss. That dart pushes Keegan Brown to the point of no return. His grip on the match has become vice like. That is it. It was tight and it was tense, but in the end, Chizzy got it done. Brendan Dolan looking for a big performance here. James Wade always has reached at least the quarter-final here. Wade's on song! Dolan is under huge pressure. Another treble 20. Goal, oh, bullseye. Yes, now the comeback is on! Brendan Dolan is fighting away here. This time, double 12. James Wade, after a real battle with Brendan Dolan, is through to the quarter-finals. Hamilton, who defeated Barnabel, trying to knock out the big man. Savage starts. Not a bad start, that. To take out the nine, twice already here he's done it. Treble 19. Double 12! <laughs> Get in new beauty. And Andy Hamilton is being ruthlessly punished. Double ten for the match, and Phil Taylor pulled away in the latter stages. Wow, what an atmosphere for the last game of the night. Anderson, the world champ, has got a real match on his hands. This man, cool as a cucumber. Solid inches dominated this game so far. Well, look at the frustration all over Gary Anderson's face. Oh, drama in the extreme here. They can't believe it. Wow, a lifeline has been thrown to Gary Anderson. Nothing Gary can do but watch and hope. In, didn't he? Is it a marker? Yes, it is! Mitch is only Mitch is through! It's the biggest moment in his career, and the world champion Gary Anderson is out! So this is the quarter final lineup Michael Van Guren against Ian White, Peter Wright, Gerwin Price. They'll be sorted out tonight. Tomorrow night, Friday night in Blackpool, Phil Taylor against Dave Chisnell, and James Wade against Mencius Sulevich, the man who put out Gary Anderson, the world champion and Premier League winner.
Eric, I want your thoughts on Gary Anderson against Sulevich. Sulevich laid the trap out, Gary Anderson walked straight into it. That's right, he, his game, game plan was superb. I mean, the one person you can wind up is Gary Anderson. Slow him down, do all this, and he goes for it. You know, he'd be, he'd be no good as a fish. You just put the bait out, you get, catch him straight <laughs> away. He's uh, done the job, sensible. Played well, though. He wasn't, like, barracking him all the time. Just certain parts of the game stopped. Went back to the table, had a drop of water, because Gary just wants to get on with it. Played very well. Is the world champion Gary Anderson? He should know better, should he? Yeah, yes, yes, he should. He played Scott Kirchner. We, we mentioned that last night at the World Championships, and he kind of fell into the same trap but got the better of Scott. A few, few rounds later, he played a uh, Spaniard, Cristo Reyes. Cristo Reyes kind of did the same kind of shenanigans. He was stopping every third dart and just taking forever, taking an age. Gary was getting annoyed then, but then started to control himself. Averaged 105 over five sets. So coming into last night, he's thinking, I can hack it. When he got up there, it was like, oh, no, not this again. It wasn't like we, we knew Mensah wasn't going to do it. He was always going to do it. And Gary knew that. That's why I can't believe he, he acted the way he did. And I, I think Gary will be bitterly disappointed that he, he didn't show the form and, and the knowledge and the know-how to deal with him. Phil Taylor hasn't shown top form yet. Worked hard against Andy Hamilton, did the job, but 39% on his doubles. Doesn't look right on his doubles. And he's not only just missing them, he's missing them by a long way. And he knows that. He, he's, he, he'll be practising again today on his doubles. He, he's, his game is not 100%. It's nowhere near it. He's scraping through. He's had a great draw so far. Henderson didn't turn up. Hamilton's been struggling. He's going to have to start playing darts now, otherwise he's going to go out. I was talking to Phil Taylor's right-hand man today. We, we just having a chat about Phil's game, and he said he's practising his grouping mm. because uh, around the board, his, his grouping is, is not right. So it, he's addressing the problem. But the thing is, is that when you're under pressure and you, you've got one or two darts at a double, the grouping's not going to help. You're only, you've only got one or two darts. You need to, to throw them firmly, accurately, but most of all with confidence. And at the moment, Phil doesn't look that confident, especially on the 8s and 16s. That was last night. Tonight, Peter Wright takes on Garouin Price, the former Welsh rugby player, in fine form, put out Adrian Lewis. We've been talking to him. And his lucky mascot, his daughter. Now, it's just you and your daughter staying up here this week, isn't it, while you're in the competition? Yeah. And that's her there, Emily. Yeah. Do you think your dad's doing all right, Emily? Yeah. Dance is not your only sport. We know that you also have played rugby union and rugby league. And I wondered how last night fared in your wider career of sporting achievements. Uh, I've got uh, a few cup finals and won league titles with Neath and with Cross Keys. But, you know, that's a team game and the spotlight isn't 100% on you as uh, another 14 players on the field. And, you know, when you're up there on the, on the darting stage, everything is on you and you're under pressure and it's just it's two completely different sports. And it's really hard to understand how you make the jump from, from that sport to darts. So I'm obviously getting on a bit now, getting, I'm 30 <laughs> years of age. I started playing Super League darts and going to local tournaments and met Barry along the way, Barry Bates, and he asked me if I'd fancy going to Q school and giving her a crack and here I am. Your match against the two-time world champion Adrian Lewis. How were you feeling before you went out? I was pretty confident. I played Adrian a few times on the Pro Tour. I know it's a different format. I was confident if I could score as well as I know I can and take my chances that I would I would go on and win. You looked very comfortable. You almost looked like you were enjoying it. Yeah, I, I didn't feel any nerves. I, I wasn't nervous. I was didn't feel under pressure, and I was just concentrating on my own legs, but. You know, I was putting him under pressure on his legs, I think. It's easier said than done, you just got to play the board, but I think I do that quite well. I've learned over the past 18 months how to do that, and I just forget who I'm playing. It was a very impressive moment in your last leg. You had three darts for double tops. You missed the first two. How did you maintain your concentration and your coolness under pressure to finish it off? I don't know, it just goes back to practice sessions, and Barry Bates always calls me the last start guess because I always put the last start in, and. You know, routine sessions like that, it comes into the game and luckily the last start went in and it was a great celebration. 
How significant would it be for you and your career to advance to the next stage of this competition? Well, yeah, a performance like yesterday and beating someone like Adrian on the stage gives me great confidence now moving forward. I'm obviously playing Peter Wright next, another great player, but I'm just it gives me confidence going into each game now, knowing that I can actually live with them on, on a longer format as well. In your post-match interview with Stuart Pike, you mentioned that you had messed up your rugby career, and I wondered what you meant by that. Well, in my, in my younger days, when I was probably a little, little immature and didn't really take my chances and threw, threw away opportunities, you know, I, I've turned now and got, got a second opportunity, and I just don't really want to do the same again. And priorities in your life, have they changed? Yeah, I've got two little girls now, Emily, which you probably see more on the TV than me yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I've got a little girl, Bethany, as well. And, you know, they, they're my priority now, and I'm just looking forward and hopefully stick with that and have a career in this and hopefully have a good career for them. He's a laid-back character, a nice guy, an athlete. We don't often say that about darts players. Well, no, maybe the world of darts is changing. We know, we know the standard's getting better, but uh, he's so, so good for the game. He really is. He talks well and he, he plays incredible darts. And if he can carry on his form, maybe Peter writes him for a, a, a bit of a poor night. Do you think Peter Wright will be fearing him? You yeah, give him a, a lot of respect. You gain respect. If you play well against a, a, another opponent, the, the person you're playing next watches the game and he, he, he'll, he'll watch that game and he, in a game respect, he knows he's, he's, got to, he's got to finish him off. You don't want him having two or three darts at a double, because he was getting doubles under pressure, and that's what this game's all about. So, yeah, you, you earn your own respect. And what do you mean we're not athletes? We've been athletes for years. <laughs> <laughs> You've always been an athlete. Yeah, you yeah. Believe it. Let's guide you through the betting and see where the value is tonight. Kicking off the night, then Peter Wright against Garrowin. We've been practising that. Yeah, I, I, I think Garrowin's going to play well again. I'm not sure that that Peter Wright is there for the taking quite tonight because producing that again, I'm not sure. I think it, it'll be close though, I think 16-12-ish. Eric, what do you reckon, scoreline? Yeah, 16-10, something like that. I, but I, I think, I hope he plays well. You know, uh, good luck to him. I, I think it maybe might be a big step tonight, but he, he can prove us all wrong. Michael Van Gogh in 12-1 on, 7-1 wide. One winner for you. Uh, look, I'm not going to go against a, a 1 to 12 shot. If you've got 12, though, why do you need another one? Uh, I wouldn't be having a penny on that match. Van Gerwen, do you think he's going to go on and win it? I think he's going to win the tournament. Yeah, I can't see anyone stopping him. He looks so good. I chat to him all the time. He just walks past. He's just, well, he's just got that aura around him at the moment where he just believes he's going to win it. Let's get it on. Let's get the drama unfold. Ain't shady, baby, I'm hot. Light the prodigal sun. Hello, and a very warm welcome. You've joined us live on Sky Sports. Just brought to you by the Professional Dance Corporation and live on Sky Sports. Ladies and gentlemen, time to meet the players. Would you please welcome in his debut year, he's made it through to the quarterfinals, MC Iceman, Darren Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get this party started! Sneak!
Twitter and Sky Sports Stars, our Twitter account. We've got over 158,000 followers, Wade. It's nearly as many as Eric. It's <laughs> 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 Stephen Fry, never mind anything else. You love in the dance, and it's, it's going to be a great night of, of, of action, Eric. Yeah, two players in form here. It, it, this could be a cracking game, and uh, good luck to the pair of them. The crowd, the crowd are going to enjoy this, and, and the people at home. There'll be loads of 180s, big finishes. And someone's going to miss a few doubles, and that's going to be the turning point of this game. It's quite a long former now, Wayne. Will that favour right? It, it will, yes. And, and Gerwin uh, alluded to it after his, his win against Adrian. He said it was nice to play that well over that longer format, because he's never done it before. This is only another three legs, but it's still very taxing. And uh, just looking at the stats, Gerwin's uh, percentage on the doubles is 48%. If he can stay anywhere near that, I, I, I think he's got a chance. But in Peter Wright, you're dealing with someone who believes that they can win. A lot of Welsh fans in as well, so I managed to get a ticket for this. Great, it's nice to see a Welsh player again. My old mate Leighton Reese would have loved him. Great dark player for Wales and a rugby fan. So that's it. How much do you think the victory over Adrian Lewis will have taken out of him? Because he's had a lot of media requests and it's been a busy couple of days for him. I think the adrenaline's just going to kind of not affect him right now, but midway through the game, if he's losing, it could be quite draining then. He, he needs to keep on top or close for that adrenaline to just keep him going. He'll be fine. Let's hand over to commentary. John Parr, Nigel Pearson. And back on the 19th of December at the Alexander What's Palace, these two met. Peter Wright went through 3-0 against Price. Comfortable passage through the World Championship on that occasion against Price for Peter Wright, but you do feel tonight will be a lot tougher. Price has developed nicely. Fantastic display against AJ Lewis. And John Path alongside me. What a terrific atmosphere. Very much looking forward to this first quarter final. Well, yeah, and I think we're all expecting a very good match at the least because Price he played so well knocking out uh, Lewis and, well it's a tough game though to have to face the man that took you out of the world championship as you mentioned and we'll see how he starts you know that he, revenge might actually help him and if he has it on his mind it keeps the aggression going it keeps you from getting nervous in any kind of way not that I from watching him I don't think he does get nervous I think his sporting past Keeps him from that. Although he did allude to it in that interview. So it's, it's, it's different when you're all alone on stage instead of in the team. Did notice when uh, Peter Wright was dancing across the stage, skipping across the stage. Price had his back turned. First 180 of the game. Cool as you like. Gerwin Price from Wales. Now, Trouble 17 would leave the ball. But yes, his time in rugby seven. union and rugby league Having to require has got him accustomed to tough competition, combat of the highest order. Double 14 for the 1 2 1 and a break of throw! Oh, how close was that? Seven. <laughs> it was very 24. close, but. Right, coolly. Approach double 12, and finish off the leg and hold it, hold it. Second leg going to I don't think that attempt 
shook him at all, and I don't. I think there'll be plenty more. So I, they both can expect that from each other. 180s, high finishes. When you get this far in a tournament, it shouldn't wow. rattle you at all. It just should make you want to respond. Well, it is a longer format, but if that is a sign of things to come, that first leg, we're in for an absolute treat. This man, world championship runner-up in 2014. Peter Wright equaled his best match play performance by getting this far. I would love to go a stage wow. further. But Price is in the zone already. Hitting the troubles beautifully. What I'm right out Fulton. What I'm right out Fulton. Good start to this game. High quality. Right, looking for a treble. Price Irving on his way to hold his throw. Trouble trying the first start. Stay there for double eight. Wright's not on a finish, so he's under no pressure. He's going to be eight. back anyway. Well, I still think he would have liked to get a 12 dart leg there and have things go his way a little more. Momentum. Get that going. It's always good. And this is its own double eight. This just has to step slightly to the right because it kind of bent and he's probably better off on a double four now. And, uh, reset. 12 score. No focus came. It's annoyed him visibly, but this is a tall order for right. If he takes this, it would hurt even this early on. So, Price is going to be back for double two. 59. Going Not the most comfortable. Oh, it's look at that. Second. He made it look comfortable. What a piece. Yeah, well, after that quite awkward double four attempt and the other two missed starts, I mean, that was just an excellent double two under the pressure of wow. getting broken if he failed on the turn. Big pals with Barry Bates, who, of course, uh, We've seen represent Wales in the World Cup. Well, I'm right out, Fulton. Only a matter of time before this fella establishes himself in the World Cup as well, I'm sure. He really well, has been one of the stories of the match play. Could get even bigger story with the win against Peter Wright here. Long way to go though, first to 16. 85. Crowd well and truly up for it already. Big night of darts ahead. Two quarterfinals tonight, two more tomorrow. 100. Forty three. So just wants to treble a turn here. Average for the next six thirds. 100. He's shaking his head, but I bet he's really relieved about that third guard hitting the treble. Yeah, right, and it opened up superbly against Kim Hybrex with 100 meters average. Hates your requirement. What can he do here now? Needing 101. Double 16. Price not on a finish. Doesn't matter. Right's got it right straight away. Two on he leads. It's gone with throw in the first three legs of the game. But John Price was a little bit astray during that last leg. Scrappy darts that we didn't see in the whole game against Adrian Lewis. Yeah, and he's left an opening, which Peter's trying to pass through. It's 80 ahead. Price must regroup here. A little unfortunate, that first start. Yeah, I think he's adjusted well. 50. Oh no, there were two treble fives. And Peter now still ahead before he even throws. Right 
Five one forties is clinical here. I did say in the previous leg, Price was showing signs that he was below his best. Needs a good recovery here. Fill it up. Oh, he's going down the board. One hundred and thirty-seven. That's better. I mean, Price missed the 12 dart leg before he took it. Eventually, I think that little bit of double trouble might have just shook his confidence a bit. He did end up getting the double too, but still, it, it was five darts to get the double. One on Pay to require 81. Hits the treble 19 beautifully for a break now. Double 12, no mistake from Peter Wright. He's looking on song all right. He's got the darts here. Came on. A hold of throw and it'll be 4-1 up going into the first break of the game. Well, Wright is looking superb. He's really getting a rhythm going and he won't want a break. He's going now. And Price, well, he might need to regroup. Still well, very early, well, considering well, it's well, first to 16, but you don't want to get in the habit of losing sessions, 4-1 or 3-2, because then you will be in big trouble. Well, I'm right out, faulty. Two 140s for Peter Wright, and Price is coming back. Can he fill it up? Plenty of room in the middle. This is a great leg of darts, isn't it? Yeah, and he really needed that 180, didn't he? Because now Peter can just pull straight away, and he is. Bit of a slack third. He's not impressed with that from himself. The averages are brilliant early on, right up to 111. Price has just hit the ton now. Gerwin Price from Newport in South Wales. Please, you require 81. Talented all-round sportsman. This for 4-1. Double 16. No Game problem. He hasn't missed the shot Peter in a double Wright. yet. Peter Wright holds a 4-1 advantage at the end of the first session here against this man, Gerwin Price. But a long, long way to go. It's the first to 16. Join us for more quarterfinal world match play darts in a few moments' time. Welcome back to the Winter Gardens here in Blackpool. The quarterfinals of the Bet Victor World Match Play and Peter Wright leads go and price 4 1 here in the first quarter final. Still to come, mighty Michael Van Gerwen against Ian Diamond White. Two quarterfinals tonight, two tomorrow from seven. And here, Peter Wright, John Part in fine form. Interesting observation about the way that last leg ended as well. Well, yes, and Peter finishing very well, but. Uh... And confident, you could tell that. Hey, and gentlemen, six leg, but the, the thing was first. there, Peter with, with the 81, and with Price on a finish of 138 doable, with two darts left, instead of going for 12 and bull, the safe way to make sure you get a shot, right Peter went for the treble 10, double 16, and hit it. But I think uh, Kerwin probably would have noticed that, maybe took exception. It sort of fuels the fire. It's an in-your-face sort of way to go about things, and Peter certainly can do that. Right, trying to stamp his authority and dictate the game. Uh, well, yes, yeah, certainly is. In other words, he's not bothered at all by what 100. Price might do. Almost dismissive. Exactly. It's that sort of imperious attitude he's trying to establish. Well, he's in form for sure. And uh, Price is under pressure to hold his throw here. He's going about it the right way. Nice travel with the first dart. Just the 1 180 in the game to this man. 137. 
hasn't played bad and it's 4-1 down but it is only the one break of throw that proves to be the difference so far you require 139 now a treble to leave tops 59 sometimes you, you just lose a bit of focus on those out shots when the other guy isn't on a finish so the best you can hope for is to clean it up nicely, leave something good, and Price did that. That's a good thing he did because pressure on. Gets the trouble with the first start nicely. Well, double ten was working for him beautifully the other night against A.J. Lewis. Double five works this time. Holds his throw. He can do no more than that. Came on. Four-two right leads. Has to be said, averaging 109. Peter Wright looks well on top of his game here. Well, perhaps just came off his game a little bit from the break. But, uh, soon getting back in, I'm sure. Interesting yeah. attire from Peter Wright tonight as well. It's, it's almost like camouflage. With, with the stage and the logos. <laughs> nice seagulls on his shirt. Ducks. Seagulls by the seaside, sure. Amazing what conversations we have sometimes, isn't it? AC1. Ducks or seagulls, you decide. He's enjoying himself. 111 average. He 16. is playing quite beautifully. Peter Makes Wright here, former 90. world finalist, former Premier League player. Needs 90 for 5 2. I was looking at the 12 data then for a moment, but just looking to set himself up. Yes, it's what I was just talking about. Kind of lose a bit of focus, a little drive 49. on your finish effort. The other fellow way back. One nice darts from Price. Nine for double sixteen. Got to fancy him to hit this first time. Yes. The form is on. He's not missed the double. One hundred percent checkout rate so far for Peter Wright. Five two. He leads. He's hit 10 ton 40s in seven legs 16. so far. Only 60 for Price, so a chance for Wright to pounce again here. Well, and every leg counts towards your total. So don't just try and win those that you start. And it is 16 that you need, so. Peter Wright still needs 11 legs to try and win the match, so he's working hard, regardless of who starts. Nice recovery with the second dart. Just looking to keep the pressure on Gerwin Price, his family here tonight. Ninety-six. Not really a dream start for Gerwin, but... Has shown signs of class that he can compete in this game. He just needs to get something going fairly soon, you feel. He's got a strong mentality. We know he's a strong character from his rugby union and rugby league days. South Wales Scorpions rugby league he played. Nice from Price. If he loses this leg, we do feel that there will be doubts creeping into his mind because he's playing. A man who is at the top of his game and leaves the top. Oh, great first start. It's treble 18. We stay there for double 13 now. Get much closer. Well, when you're playing a player in the form of Peter Wright, every miss can be punished. And Peter looking so casual as well. Double 10. Completely not pleasant. 
Nine so it was the first double English in the match. Game on. But bounced back immediately with the next. Six out of seven at the double, and he's got two breaks of throw in his favour now as well. Peter Wright, six two up. Sixteen. Still needs ten legs. Now Price looking to punish him for a slack first visit. <laughs> Dobson Price showing his character. Yeah, because now is the time for the superhuman effort to come back in. Switching down now. Six. Wrong treble, Gerwin. Because of Peter's steady tons. Even more now. Price finds himself back. One hundred. Hey, do you require one hundred and twenty one? Back up for trouble 20 now. 57. Going to require 160. Now this would be something special, wouldn't it? Yeah, and he, he kind of knew he needed it. Pressed a little too hard the first dart. Peter Wright hasn't missed a double. Well, he missed one double. 64. But the finishes are just coming so easily. This seems like an automatic 64. Treble 16, double eight. 48. Finally, Trice gets a break. Kevin, you require 85. Yeah. He uh, has been immaculate on the double so far. Peter Wright needs the ball. 60. Chance wasted for Gerwin Price. Right here now for double eight. Well, 7-2 the advantage now, huge pressure on Price to hold his throw now, John. Yeah, it, it is, it really is just nothing working out for him. And uh, it can be disconcerting when you've enjoyed success in your previous match, and you, you know how all those feelings go, and it's great. But now, this feels entirely different, and it can be hard to cope with. Loved it after his win against Fonty Daddy Lewis. One. Looking at social media, and one of the old rugby union referees that used to take charge of games when Gerwin was playing, saying congratulations, immaculate order on stage, not giving the official one. stick like he did with us on the rugby union field. Quite a character go in Price, but what a 180 that was for Peter Wright as well. He's a man in form, all right. Three 180s for him now. 100. And you get the feeling that Price is in trouble here. A second commercial break coming up. Right on target for an 8 2 cushion. Yeah, right. Really looking like a champion, has to be said. And. <laughs> If you don't think he can win this whole title the way he's playing, you're crazy. 58. For 8 2. And a third break of throw. Double 8 in the target. Yeah, Gets it first time of asking. He's in cruise control. He doesn't want a break. He wants to just get on with it. Price is in trouble now. Peter Wright stamping his authority and showing his true class and all his experience on the big stage. Is there any way back? For Gerwin Price, right leads, a two. Peter Wright on form here in the first quarter-final here in Blackpool of the World Match Play. 
in cruise control. Three breaks of throw in his favour against Gowen Price, who's been one of the stories of the tournament so far. Right leads eight legs to two in a race to 16. And the second quarterfinal of the night to come, Michael Van Gerwen. Can Ian White stop him? That is coming up after this. Well, Peter Wright continuing the thorn form that he showed in the practice room because around about 10 to 7 tonight, this man hit a nine data in the practice room and has carried that form forward onto the stage. 100. And John, you fear for Price now from this position. I fear for everyone left in the tournament. <laughs> the way uh, Wright's playing, he's looking really comfortable as well. And with his advantage in this session, as far as Price is concerned, it's going to be really hard to stop uh, Peter winning this little mini session 4 1 once again, like he has the first two. And clearly, 60. Uh, Price needs to get at least three just to reduce the deficit. Brilliant from Price! <laughs> Character, determination. But now, Wright looks to respond. What a run out of foes. 14 is now for Peter Wright. Carl Boyce, the European Moscone Cup player, a local lad, enjoying the action here in the Winter Gardens tonight. Well, 29. Dreadful turn after the 180. Can't afford that. Not against. The 140 machine that Peter Wright is tonight. One hundred and thirty-five. Well, he really is playing quite beautifully. Peter Wright, this for a hold of throw, remember, to go nine-two. Could be a bull here. Yeah, he, he wanted to leave 170. He hasn't. So even though he had a 180, he's still not at a finish, and Wright likely to finish. 109 and a half average. Nine would leave double 16 for 9 2. No Game problem. Well, 75% at place. the checkout rate for Peter Wright tonight. Every bit about his game is superb. 100. There's no answer to that finishing, is there, John? Yeah, 9 of 12 for Peter Wright. 75%. It's about as good as you ever see in a long format game. 45. Well, you feel now that Gerwin Price is struggling. He was flowing with confidence against Adrian Lewis, biggest moment of his career. 60. But this is a different test for Price. Still has a chance to take this leg with the throw. And he's just taking his time there. He knows things are going against him, and he's got to get his act together. Yeah, it's tough. He's already been trying, and you get that feeling that he has been trying too hard a little bit. Look where he had the 180 and then the 20 odd turn. You know, he's just pressing too much. There's just right got the pressure at the highest level on him. A yeah, big score here would hurt Price, but. Sixty. Wright's let him off the hook, really. But yeah, for everything he's throwing in this match, that is getting off the hook for Gerwin. We see the averages: 15 points different per turn. That's five points a dart. 45. Tweeters at Sky Sports start: seagulls or ducks? Malardi and Mallets. I knew you'd come up with something like that, John. Six Only three. 60 for Price. Well, this is a scrappy, the most scrappy leg of the game so far. It's a nice steady turn, that's all he needs really in the context of this leg. Now Price needs a big one. 
His body language tends to suggest he knows that it's slipping away from him here, John. Well, there's just that little bit of tension he can't get rid of, even no matter how much he thinks he's trying to relax and, and ease back into the game. And look how relaxed Peter Wright is. But focused. That's the main point. Tops for 10 2. Makes Game it look easy. Makes right. it look easy. That hurts Price now. Thirteen because Wright is running away with this. First. With a Game world class on. performance at the world match play. Four breaks of throw in his favour. It is going to take something amazing for Price to even get One back into this now. You know, Peter Wright, he's playing so well, it's like he's the only one up on stage in his mind. It, 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 Price isn't e even a consideration on, on anything. He's just playing the game, playing the board, and smashing it to bits, really. Has Price had his moment in the sun with the win against Adrian Lewis? Wright's playing well, let's make no mistake about that. It's not like it's just an ordinary display by Peter Wright. It's a very, very good display. It's going through Price's mind right now, John. How do you just keep, keep things together and keep going? You try to have a deep breath. You try to focus. You try not to try too hard. <laughs> it's just... Finding some 36. trebles. Like there, he'll feel good about that. He's left the finish as well. 170. That would certainly alter the mood of the whole place. Going to require 170. Well, Wright's on 101. He's already taken that out once. Got a 102 and a 101. 60. Only 60. you require 101. So he needs to treble the second dart and finds it for double 12. 77. Well, he's, he's finally Don't missed on something. It's his fourth miss at a double. 71%. Needed the treble there. So, 94. again, you feel Pays if he was going to break a throw, this was the leg he was going to do it. It's unlikely he'll be back. But double 12 for right now. Double six. Got to take this now. Doesn't score. Just as we were saying, or I was saying, it's unlikely he'll be back. Here he is going, Price, for a break of throw. It's awkward now. Got it. Brilliant. 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 Full credit to Kevin Price. He's won a leg against the throw. Is the comeback about to get underway? Yeah, they, he's so far back, though, that you, know, you get the sort of almost sarcastic applause from the, from the crowd, and it's disheartening. You know, he's got to just keep his head on the game. Keep trying to get some legs. 41 sort of indicating that maybe his focus isn't all there. One hundred. At this very stressful time. And you do feel right will be particularly annoyed about letting that slip. And... Um, just hitting 41 with his first visit, Gerwin Price, and nowhere near the treble 20. 60. Well, Price will be happy that Peter Wright finally has a little bit of doubt about something. He's showing some vulnerability, finally. You know, it only took 10 legs, 60. or 13 legs. Yeah, he's definitely going through a dip, Peter Wright. But he's still doing enough. Reminder, he hit nine data in practice just before 7 o'clock tonight. He beat this man 3-0 in the World Championships. Can he hit a 1 180? Yes, he can. Price in with a great shout of two legs on the spin. And now he wants to repeat it. To One leave tops. Back to back. And he just wants to stay focused and get the consistency. And it looks like he's achieving that. 66. Oh, I spoke way too early. I jinxed him a bit. Now, right looking to put him under pressure. 
Lovely last start, wasn't it? Going to require 154. Well, it's just not happening for him, is it? Even if he's going to get back. It's a three-dark combo. Treble 19 would leave double 12 for Peter Wright. Here we go to break back immediately. Double 12 in leads. Well, he just missed it the leg before. Same thing. So perhaps that lingering in, in Peter's mind. He's treble 18 will get prices shut. Or only stayed on the 20s. Having trouble getting it. Trouble at this point. Double twelve. History repeating double six. Well, double three this time. Third. Twenty-one. He's missed again. Four darts. Going to require fifty-four. Here we go for tops for Price now. Big shot coming in. Can he use it as a marker? No. 14. Oh, you've got a feel for him, haven't you? Peter required three. Well, the way Wright is going, he's missed eight darts for double in these last two legs. And he's left three. Very awkward. One for double one. And now he's sort of blocked both sides. Yeah, but finds it. 14th leg. Right. 15th leg. And it's a break of throw first. back in his favor. At 11 3. Double 12 has been, if he's had an Achilles heel tonight, and it's hard to say that when he's averaging a ton and he's 11 3 up with 4 1 80s and 16 ton 40s. Out, Double 12, 2 from 6. He was brilliant at the finishing early on. But he's down to 48% now, he's up in the 70% area. Wow. Feet are right early on. And if he holds his throw here, he'll win yet another session 4 1. And he'll be four legs away from the semi-finals of the Pet Victor World match play. 59. Looks like a hopeless situation for Gerwin Price right now. Yeah, well, you have to feel not capitalizing on Peter's misses there. It's sort of the last chance, you know that. 60. There's always extra chances if it's alive and Peter still needs to win five legs. That's a lot of legs, but the mood is not there. 95. Almost a sarcastic Radio smile as he hit the trouble 20 bed there. Price. It's the trouble there, so he's going to go trouble 19. 15 to the end. The double 12 play came into play there. We'll remind you, he's hit for two from six, and he went a different way to avoid the double twelve there. One hundred. Pedro requires sixty-six. So, clickety click. Double eight will do for right. Here we go with double four. Gets Game it. Shot in the fifth he's won every session. Four one. Hence the scoreline right now. Peter Wright twelve. Go with Price three. The World Match Play quarterfinals continue here at the Winter Gardens in Blackpool when we come back. Welcome back to the Winter Gardens here in Blackpool. It's quarter-final night in the World Match Play and Peter Wright in a commanding position, 12-3 against Gerwin Price. And still to come, Michael Van Gerwen and Ian Diamond White. Two quarter-final games tonight, two more to follow tomorrow. Peter Wright's attire. Seagulls in Blackpool. Has to be. I'm sticking to it. John Pyle alongside me here in the commentary play. box Go and John Gerwin Price you do Game feel has had his moment in the sun against Adrian Lewis now only a matter of time really you feel before Peter Wright sees the job through 
Yeah, only four legs needed, so. He, and he, he looks comfortable, you know, even with a little bit of double trouble there. He won't be bothered. He feels like he's going to go on and win. And why wouldn't he? He's won every session 4-1. We've got bananas in pajamas in the crowd. I hope they're not going to sleep anytime soon, getting ready for bed because MVG is on the way with Ian White. It's going to be a terrific showdown here on this big stage, which might not be too far away now. And uh, as good as Michael is, I don't think Ian White's going to let a scoreline like this appear in that match. I think he's going to be. Giving Michael a very hard match. Looking forward to it. One on one. Oh, nice steady turn for Peter. You feel that's all he needs to do at the moment. Ninety-six. Well, whatever happens here, go and Price can hold his head high after a memorable match play. We're going to see plenty more from him, I'm sure. What's happening here with Peter Wright? Yeah, that, that was strange. Price won't worry about why. He'll just try and take advantage. 140 to leave tops. And he'll be back. 100. Wright looking to set himself up for a finish should he be back. Switching for 19s now. That's a great last dance. So there's pressure on going no, Price here. Right sat on tops. He just plays the ball. Doesn't worry about his opponent. Bull is the target now. To get another leg on the ball. Consolation for Gerwin Price. Well, that was superb, John. Yeah, sometimes a five isn't such a bad thing. Set up the 75, 25 and ball, and well now he's a little better feeling. Yeah, Wright looked a little bit annoyed when he threw those first three darts. 90. Really is a fantastic atmosphere here in the Winter Gardens tonight. Credit to the fans who've travelled to support Gary wow. Price from South Wales tonight. Plenty of them in this. Winter Gardens venue. Now, uh, Peter Wright's done a very good job of muting them with his excellent play, especially the first ten legs. He, he was just unstoppable. He was. One hundred. Nice steady turn. Peter Wright just going about his business. Two trouble 19s for Price. Do you require 161? Pajamas on. Too early for that, surely. Seventy-seven. Price hoping for a one-three-seven and probably settle for ninety-seven now. Ninety-seven. Yeah, leaves eighty. Good number to have, 84. especially if you hit five first. But more on that if he gets a chance. 84. 14 for Bull. Game shot and he gets a ball. Bull's a very in vogue double. Yeah, very much so. And that. I'm not going to say it hurts going well, price because right he's probably thinking right now it's a lost cause anyway, but. You know, that is just a sign, just as Peter Wright was having a slight dip in form and Gowan was just stepping up a level. 41. Wright hits the bullseye. Three legs he needs now, Peter Wright. Snake bite, making his way through to the semi finals. Fifty-four. 
100. And Price easily ahead in this leg he started. Yeah, Price is still giving it absolutely Dominic everything up there. 121. Trouble 20 would leave double 18. Right nowhere near to finish. 61. So Price will be back. Though he requires Good 60. job to leave a finish. Unlikely he'll get a chance, though. You have to fancy price with his tops. 22. Well, in his last match, he Patriot was the master of last dart tops. Yeah, that's the difference, isn't it? Things going against him. Well, a treble 19 would leave the bull. 99. So here that we go, double 19 for Gerwin Price to get a fifth leg on the board. He's gone for 14 now, double 12 it leaves. Fourteen. Well, well, well. Peter requires 68. Well, that was strange. Well, he got to pick his double. He wanted other than 38 and have any success it's double 16 Game perfectly throwing Peter Wright 19th leg Peter the throw two first. legs away from the semi-finals now Peter Wright and that was a leg quite simply that Gerwin Price knows got away yeah I mean, he was more than 300 16. ahead at one point Seemed like, anyway. 100. Right, averaging 98.1. Can't find a treble here. 60. Six starts, hasn't hit a treble yet. Can Price punish him? It appears not. He's going to switch. 47. No, he's let him off the hook again, so... Well, well, well. 30. He's finally ahead treble, but not the right one. 100. Oh, just can't get the luck in that one. Count. Oh, it does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like it. Deserves a better look, doesn't he? Well, that was lucky. <laughs> uh, I didn't think that it, it was touching, but there you go. 98. It was almost like we needed a video referee like we have in Super League to see if it, was, to see if it landed properly. Goodness me. 34. Going to require 76. Slack leg from right. Double eight for a break of throw for Price. Gets it's it! The Price. Now he's got the dance. Going to throw first. To try and go for a sixth leg as well. And now he's finding a little bit of form. 100. I suspect Peter Wright will be a little bit annoyed. It's a poor leg from Peter Wright. Well, I think he was that far ahead, Peter Wright, that he was losing his focus on. Fulton. And you, you need the, you need to have to play most of the time to play well, and probably just lost a bit of that urgency, and would soon be getting it back with these darts coming at him. Still no trouble for Peter Wright. Surely 
surely no complacency here. Nine the finish line is in sight, two legs away. Gerwin Price looking good for 14-6 here. 16, going to require 130 miles. And it's on for this, treble third, well, treble 17 he went for. So 65 left, 17 down to 56. Five. He'll be back for it as well. A 180 would leave 161. Going to require 56. Tops for Price to get a six leg on the board. And That's more like it. Leg. He's feeling a lot better about things. It may be too little too late. Peter Wright will be back with the dance after the break, looking to seal the deal. But Gerwin Price has rallied round. Peter Wright 14. Gerwin Price 6 in this first quarter final. the Winter Gardens, sometimes you just need a little bit of luck. That given as a 180 for Gerwin Price. Is it? Is it? And Russ Bray called it. A brief moment of joy for the Welshman in an otherwise one-sided contest in favour of Snakebite. Peter Wright, 14-6 he leads. And Michael Van Gerwen plays Ian White in the second quarter-final which is coming up immediately after this. So, Peter Wright with the darts. Are they looking to take this and go within one leg? Oh, look at this. What a way to start up with a break. He's 21st, 140 of the match. And I think he'll be a little bit annoyed, a little bit agitated. John, he'll just want to get this done now. Oh, yeah. Well, he wouldn't be worried about too much. He would have spent the whole break thinking, well, listen, if I hold my throat when I walk back on stage, I'm one leg away, and there's no way he's going to rattle off nine to level me. Well, he's come back fighting here, Peter Wright, hasn't he? Ready for the kill. 59. I'm sure Gerwin Price will look back on this tournament with fond, fond memories. But quite clearly, Peter One Wright has regrouped during that break. And he's looking for a 10 data here to go within a leg of the match. He's yeah. going to go for double 18. Yeah, just a fantastic effort to get the job done. Ten data for Peter Wright. Peter Wright, 22nd leg going up. And if there were any doubts creeping in, that has just alleviated them. Minus one forty for Price. It really has been a fantastic addition to the world match play. Who knows? We may see him for three or four more legs yet. Fifty-seven. Do you feel that Wright is just? Saving himself for his own throw here, John. Well, no, I, I felt more like he was trying to get a nine dart leg at the start, and the first dart missed, and then he kind of lost some focus. Now he's digging back. Brilliant. Six apiece in the 180 table. 59. It's the ton 40s and the finishing where Wright has been so superior in Blackpool tonight. 100. That just Going keeps the pressure on Gerwin Price. Can't hit a treble. Pay to require 164. And wouldn't this be a way? Win a quarter final. Another one of those would leave the ball. 
Bowl for the match. Oh, oh. 39. Having to require 100 percent. Is that the last dart throw by Gerwin Price in this world match play? It has been a tremendous week for him. Missed the single. Who would have thought a guy hitting a 10 dart leg could do that? 21. Not surprised he missed double. Price is back just as we'd written him off. Brilliant. Brilliant. Well, why not enjoy yourself? Moment on the big stage in the limelight. Just keep it going for a little longer yet. Some 40 here. There you go. Well, I'm right out of 40. All business again for Peter. What Unlucky number? there to deflect down rather than just go alongside and into the treble. Just the way Peter used the darts there. The first one was low. The last start. Nicely floated in above him. Which is all he needs to do. Hit the turn. Keep it going. Price, you wow, feel, he's just enjoying himself at the moment. Seven. Just wants to keep it going as long as he can. Yeah, and it's what Peter Wright didn't let him enjoy himself in the first ten legs of this match. He, he was just well, right over overbearing. Fancy. He was that good. And the tension just would not exit Price. Well, I'm out of oh, this is a great match. We remind you, he's missed ball for the match already. He's going to go for it again. Nice. Missed it again. Going yeah, to mile away. <laughs> and that dart meant he can't finish, so. 44. Once again, Pretty Peter back to try and finish 25. Maybe you'll get the single nine first this time. Maybe you'll switch singles. Let's see what he does. It is a nine, so double eight. Double four. Game shot. And he gets it to get through Peter the quarterfinal. 16-7 to beat the Welshman. Gerwin Price, what an appearance he's had. What a week he's had. His career is just blooming, but it's Peter Wright who is really becoming the consummate professional and a real threat to win this title. And coming next, we have mighty Michael Van Gerwen. Difficult against a man like this. Emphatic for Michael Van Gerwen. That is a very big body blow. You should have played mind games with the master. Brilliant that! Look at that face! Pressure, pressure, pressure! Did it earlier! Did it again! Game on! He's into the semi-finals of the match play. Gwyn Price had his moments, getting seven legs on the board. It was right with the knockout punch. His first semi-final here in Blackpool. Job done, but who will he play in that semi-final? Confirmation of that 16-7 victory. Michael Van Gerwen or Ian White next. Tomorrow night's quarter-finals, Phil Taylor, Dave Chisnell and James Wade against the man who put out Gary Anderson, Ben Skills, Tudor, let's hear from Peter right now, talking to Rod Studd. Peter Gowen, thanks for coming down to talk to us. Peter, first of all, through to your first match play, semi-final, just sum up how well you played there. Uh, well, it's a bit up and down. Uh, More up than down, though. Yeah, happy to get through. Uh, obviously, Gowen can 
didn't play like he, like he can, nowhere near. But, you know, this guy's just joined, really, the PDC circuit. I played him in the World Championships, and he's learnt and learnt. And he just said the wrong thing to me on stage there. He turned around and said, I'm happy to be here. And that's what I've done for the past couple of years that I've been here. I was happy to be here and instead of coming here and taking it serious as your job. And so next next year, watch out for this man here and in a, on all the future tournaments the rest of the year. Very gracious of you, Peter. Gowen, this has been a great tournament, not your night tonight, but what will you take back from this tournament? Yeah, tonight I didn't play that well, obviously, as you see. But I'm probably still on a high problem Tuesday night, but um, I don't know, I didn't play very well tonight, couldn't score at all until the end, and I knew I was beat probably after the second interval even, but I don't know, I, I'm, I know that I can live with, with people, uh, the players, over the longer format, it's just producing it every time, but i done it on Tuesday, I didn't do it tonight, but, but like you said, I'll try and learn from this. And you've made a lot of new fans, I'm sure you're conscious of that, looking out into the crowd. Yeah, yeah, they're brilliant, look at them. Unbelievable, you know, all my friends from, from Markham have come up today as well. Unfortunately, I couldn't win for them, but hopefully there'll be plenty more tournaments to, to come and join in, and hopefully I'll do a bit better next time. We hope so. Peter, just a final word to you. I mean, as you say, you're, you're here to win. That's what you're here for. Another uh, tie coming up, Ian White against Michael Van Gerwen. You had a tremendous win over Michael in Japan. Will that give you some confidence if you do come to play him? I know you don't know that yet. To be honest, I think Ian White will win that match. That's the truth. Instead of standing on the fence, you got to call it. I reckon Ian White went up. We're never short of something cheeky, Peter, are you? <laughs> I'll, tell, I'll tell what's what. No good hiding. Well, good. Here's one fact. You're through to the semi-final. We look forward to seeing that. And Gerwin, thanks for all the entertainment you've given us this week. No problem. Thank you. You fun in games there from uh, Peter Wright. Uh, what about Gwyn Price? He, he's had a great tournament. It's a learning process for him, isn't it? It is the old experiences that, he, that he's gained just, just this week alone. He's just got to store them away and come back for the next tournament, the next big one. Hopefully he'll be in the, uh, the Grand Prix. So it's just more televised games. The, the lights, the, the, the cameras pointing at you, it changes you. It makes you, you act different. It makes you, makes you want to play better, but with that, all the paralysis for analysis, that, that comes into it. You're in the practice room longer, but he's acquitted himself well. It's just a shame today. I, I, I'm not sure that the Adrian Lewis game two days ago had any effect. I, I just think that he played, played bad today. Peter Wright never let him off at all. 4-1, first session, 4-1 the next. It was 8-2. It was always under the cosh. Peter Wright alluding to the other change of attitude there. He used to just turn up. Now he wants to be a winner. But that's that. what uh, Gerwin Price is going through now. You, you store away the experiences. He's now more experienced, so therefore he knows what to do. And he knows how to do it. But Peter Wright is, is growing, he's evolving as a darts player. He's getting better and better. So that's why he, still, he believes that he can win. And he's been beaten in a world final. So he knows he can reach any major final. But with his ability right now as it is, of course he can win it. Wright thinks he'll be playing uh, Ian White. Will he? Well, it, whether he thinks it or not, I don't know, but that's what he said. <laughs> uh, uh, will he? Uh, the odds suggest not. Michael Van Gerwen's 1-12. to 12. Uh, My personal standpoint is that Michael Van Gerwen, if he plays anywhere near what he did in the previous round against Jamie Lewis, he will walk away with this title, don't even play another game. That, it, it's fact. No-one will beat him playing like that. But we've seen it time and time again. To replicate an amazing performance is so difficult. Van Gerwen's only dropped six legs in this competition so far. He's on, he's on fire, really, isn't he? He is, yeah. yeah. He's scoring better than anyone else, and he's finishing his two dark combinations in the previous round. They were great, but he wasn't under utmost pressure. He will be under pressure against Ian White, who's a fabulous scorer. And that the 180s will fly in from Ian. Michael's got the game, and he's, he knows. He knows how to win. But what he does know how to do as well is to keep his man under pressure. And if he can keep Ian White under pressure, in the past, he's been susceptible to missing crucial doubles. That could be the difference in this match. Well, the, uh, the world number one, Michael Van Gogh, has been getting the...